Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you which devices you need in order to connect your MacBook to multiple monitors. In this example, I'm going to show you how to connect two extra monitors to your MacBook. So let's get started. Let me show you how I've currently have the monitors connected. So click on settings. And then I'm going to click on display. Now the display will show me how I've got the screens arranged. So in the top middle, I've got the Dell monitor, and on the left hand side, I've got an LG monitor. And the bottom one is the actual MacBook. So I'm going to show you how they're connected. So they've got the MacBook has two USB C ports, and I've got the hubs connected to it. So they're either a hub or a, an adapter. So this one is the Beragoose 4 port. HD TV multi function adapter and this one is the Signet Travelmate USB C hub. So this one has multiple ports, so it's got three USB 3.0 ports, it's got a USB C PD pass through, HDMI port, and they're all connecting via USB C. The Berry Goose is connecting to the LG via HDMI. So those are the two, two adapters that I use. I'm going to show you other ones that you can use. So those are the screens, external monitors and that's the current setup. So let me show you the one, the Burugus. It has a 4K UHD port, so you can connect it via H, uh, HDMI. It's got a VGA port, USB-A port, one USB-C port with PD 100 watt input. Now let's move on to the next device, which is connecting to the Dell monitor via HDMI. The Signet Travelmate has one HDMI port, it's got three USB-A 3.0 ports. It also has a USB-C port, which you can charge your laptop to it. It's got a 100 watt PD input. The next device is the Haribo 5 one USB Type-C adapter. It comes with also one HDMI port, three USB 3.0 ports, one USB-C port. Now with this PD charge port, it only supports 87 watt, unlike the other two that supported 100 watt. This only supports 87 watt. You can still charge a MacBook Pro 2019 laptop with it. This is another Berry Goose product. It's a 71 hub. It has an SD and micro SD port, a HDMI port here on the side, and at the top another HDMI port. But the dual ports don't work on the MacBook. Only one port works. Something to keep in mind at three USB ports and a pass through USB C port at 87 watts. This is a J5 Create DVI to USB adapter. All you do need to do is just plug it into a USB port. You do need to install the drivers that you can download on the website. Once you connect it to a USB port, I'm going to Plug it into one of the USB port on the Borogus 4-in-1 adapter, just like that. Now you can connect uh, another additional DVI monitor. J5 does sell HDMI ones as well, so you might want to look at that. So in total, you can set up three monitors on the MacBook if you really wanted to using this setup. So these are all the different adapters that will work on your MacBook. So there are different models and different options available on the market. They all will work, but just keep in mind the 71 port one that has the dual HDMI ports. Both other ports will not work on the MacBook Pro, only one of them will. So these are all the devices. I'm going to put a link in the description so where you can buy them from. If this video helped you in any way, give a like and subscribe to the channel.